What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo and it's time for the week 2 analysis of the Indigo League of Legends. Now here in week 2 we are going up against uh, Shai Marinok and he has a startling powerful team. Uh, let's just give it a quick overview. Tyranitar, Garchomp, Starmie, Conkledur, Tentacruel, Jolteon, Crocodile, Tornadus, Golurk, Melodic, Camerup, and Muck. Um, I'm pretty pleased that he left some of the things that he um, could have had for the minor leagues in his minor leagues because Sceptile, Roserade, Yuxi, especially Roserade, that would have forced me to run um, a few things that I didn't quite have time to necessarily breed. Uh, but overall, very threatening team. The overused Pokemon that he picked for his lineup, man, with especially between um, Garchomp and Tyranitar, that's going to be a little bit annoying. Uh, what do I expect him to bring to this matchup? I definitely think we're going to see his own Tyranitar and Garchomp, if only because he wants to try to fight out a weather war. Uh, just letting me have Sun in this matchup unwarranted really makes things difficult for him. But on the same end of things, I, I, I'm going to play as if his Tyranitar is Scarfed, because if it's not Scarfed, it's kind of going to be hard for him to do anything with it. Uh, Garchomp, I expect him to have some type of just rocks and then maybe like the Tank Chop set. Uh, he could run Scarf Garchomp too. But I really hope he does run Scarf Garchomp because that means things a lot easier for something like Togekiss, for example. Um, I do think we'll see Starmie for his spinner just because my team can set up injury hazards on his team all day, uh, which is actually why I will be running Volt Switch on Fortress if I end up bringing it. Um, and then, of course, uh, he might. I don't see him necessarily bringing Camerupt. Um, I think if he goes Mega, his Mega will either be Tyranitar so that he can reset the weather. Um, while it's still in, if he needs to, or um, he might even go make a Garchomp just because of how nice and bulky it gets, and the speed is not really necessarily needed against my team. Uh, as far as the Pokemon that I'm bringing, uh, I basically have had that figured out now. We had that week off there, that really helped as far as breeding things went, um, but my team, we're definitely going to be bringing, uh, once again, Charizard and Aurorus. I want to play this Weather War with him, and I also want to stop a lot of the Pokemon that he has weak to ice. In his entire team, uh, he has a huge ice weaknesses with six, six, six of his Pokemon weak to ice, and he does have six ice resistances, but of course, um, I'm sorry, he only has five Pokemon weak to ice with three Pokemon resisting ice. Uh, so that means ice is highly spammable against his team, but not as spammable as, say, uh, grass moves are so that means between aurora's charizard and venusaur we're going to be ha uh very highly offensive against this team with venusaur running more of a chlorophyll life orb shenanigans uh i'll bring hp ice of course for garchomp just because in the sun i can outspeed every single thing on this team including tornadus which will be pretty nice uh with sun up too it kind of pressures tornadus to not carry hurricane if he does try to bring it although i don't think he'll bring tornadus because tornadus and Sandstorm don't work very well together either. Uh, with a Choice Scarf or Aurorus, I can outspeed everything on his team. Um, I don't think he'd bring Choice Scarf Gold to Jolteon, but even if he does, Jolteon kind of struggles to hurt Aurorus. Uh, and so I can kind of just spam Ice Move against his entire team, except for against Starmie, and then even that's hit by a Freeze Dry. Uh, and the only thing that he has that I can't spam Ice Moves against really is uh, his Conkledur. So I will need to keep um, Aurorus away from that just because of the possible Mach Punch, but for the most part Venusaur comes in for free against Conkledur unless he has Ice Punch. Uh, Conkledur is also pretty walled by Dragalge, which I will have um, most likely a Specs Dragalge. I have to play with some, some um, Calcs here to see if I really want to run Specs, but since he does not have a Fairy type of his own, it just means that every time Dragalge comes in I get to click Draco Meteor and something will get hurt, which I really like the ability to do that. Uh, I can also click Sludge uh, Sludge Wave or Sludge Bomb, which I actually might run Sludge Bomb in this matchup, just because the things that he has that resist poison really don't want to be poisoned. Um, granted, he could just bring something like Muck and have that Assault Vested and have that Force, which is, that might be annoying. But other than that, uh, yeah, I really like the ability to just click that move over and over against this team. Um, very likely that I will have Scarf Togekiss here. Scarf Togekiss would outrun a possible Scarf Tyranitar. Um, it'll outrun um, 
a regular Starmie or a regular Jolteon and be able to hit them with a, a nice Dazzling Gleam, which would be pretty useful overall. Uh, apologies if you guys can hear my neighbors. Their kids are being loud for some reason. It's only, you know, 9 o'clock on a Saturday and I just got off work. Definitely want to hear all the noise from my neighbors right now. Very, very highly appropriate. But anyways, though, that's kind of the, the general overview as to what I'm expecting here. This is not a very long analysis because uh, this is really the first time I'm getting to record it. And I'm tired, so hopefully that won't affect my battling ability too much. But uh, I am looking forward to a good battle here. I haven't battled Shiny Marinog before, so if nothing else, yay for new rivals. Uh, be sure to look out for the battle video going up tomorrow. That's Monday. And in the meantime, hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.